Vadim from Honest Signals is one of the more popular dating coaches on the internet. And he has footage of himself approaching women, bringing them home, getting numbers. The question is, is he cringe or is he a Casanova? Most dating coaches are cringe. But maybe he's one of the few exceptions of a guy who actually has game. Let's find out. Are you from like Estonia or somewhere? Belarus. Are you from Belarus? That's not Baltic at all. Oh, they're Baltic. That's like Eastern, Eastern European, I suppose. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Wait, what's your name? Yeah. I'm Vadim, actually. My parents are from Russia. Vadim. Oh, well, yeah. Nice to meet you. But you don't sound. I speak some Russian, yeah. Uh, привет. Как дела? Очень приятно. Have you lived abroad? Maybe that's why. <laughs> exactly. So I'm saying maybe like your Spanish. So so far the conversation is a bit on the logical side. It's not very emotionally interesting, but his body language, his eye contact, his voice—he seems very at ease very controlled and grounded. And you can tell the girl's reacting to that, right? She's playing with her hair. She's got this nervous energy, but not in a bad way, in a good way, the attracted kind of nervous. And he's doing that by the way he carries himself. Poland, Spain, you're a true cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitanish? How do you say it in German? No idea. I just in German. I'm like I'm like picking up like random little words here and there. Uh, apotheca, uh, farm pharmacy. What else uh, today? Kurimos. Well, that's an easy one. <laughs> uh, listen, I need to find some tea. Are you walking this way? Yeah. I'll walk with you for two minutes. Just don't do it. All right. So a lot of guys would just go for the number. They would give up right here. He's leading things forward, right? He's taking it somewhere. He's inviting her on an instant date. Now, it is important that he knows if she's busy, because if she's busy, you don't want to spend an hour on an instant date and then not do something with it. That's very inefficient. But as long as she isn't busy, that's the best thing to do. A lot of guys miss opportunities because they just give up without taking the lead. Anything crazy? All right. You know, it's funny. You kind of remind me of this um, Russian girl I briefly dated in L.A., actually. Well, she was taller. She was taller. But it's interesting resemblance. You're just, like, traveling? Oh, you mean, great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're going back to Spain. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you live in Mallorca? Yeah. She's on the island one. How? Why? Um, I mean, I mean, yeah, a little bit cold. I didn't explain. Like, I'm carrying my friend's water. Like, I take a road forecast, and so it's going to be 20 degrees. But I think it was helpful to 20 degrees. It was like the warmest thing I brought with myself. I was hoping to get some weed, but... It's everywhere here. Where? All right, so he's bringing that up to find out if he might be able to bring her home to smoke, which that's one of the best excuses, right? Because it's something you can't do in public. It's something that is a fun activity and it gets you in a more loose kind of mood. And it's a genuine excuse to go back to the place. Have contacts? I asked my friend and she's like, I don't know. You just gather around. Like, what do you mean you don't know? You just have to go around the club streets, actually. Yeah, you I, to I was biking. Center. I was biking earlier in the park and I asked some hipster girls. I yeah. thought they might have some. Oh, God. Yes, so we they went, didn't. We went to the club yesterday. We oh. went to our walk. Like, five people were asking if we need something. Question? Yep. Are you in a very committed relationship? No, what I mean? A relationship, like with a boy, but it's committed. It's like serious, oh. <laughs> exclusive, and serious. <laughs> Just started. That's convenient. <laughs> okay. So you're a lot. Uh, go ahead. So I could go either way with that. Basically, what he's doing is he's screening for availability because if she is in a very serious relationship, he doesn't want to waste time committing to a girl where it's probably not going to go anywhere, which is smart. And the way he asked, he's, he's not like, do you have a boyfriend or are you seeing someone? Because even if she's casually seeing someone, but she's down 
to hook up with someone else potentially, she would say yes. So he's phrasing it in a better way where it's only if she's in a serious committed relationship that she'll say yes. So overall, I think that's not a bad move, but it can kind of put it on a little bit thick to be like, are you single? Are you available? Healthy empty some tea here. That means you're allowed to hang out with strangers from North America. Why did you choose Mallorca? That seems like a very random decision. So this interaction might seem boring, right? Compared to the prank channels, this is very boring. But that's what good game looks like. It's not super flashy. It's not super weird. You're not doing a bunch of like crazy lines to get a shock from the audience. We're like, whoa, oh my God, he said that. It's just building a chill connection, vibing with someone and leading things forward. Oh, it was like one of those. The culture shock is not as strong as it was when I was 19. Yeah. Like coming from North America at 19 for the first time to Europe. Because uh, I left. What well, was that different? Uh -huh. What was that different? Have you been to North America? No. Never? None of them. North, South. <laughs> um, By the way, if you're watching this and you're thinking, you know, it'd be really cool if I could go out and meet beautiful women anywhere and get a date with them like he's doing in this video then the easiest way to get over your excuses, to get over your resistance, there's a million reasons in your head why you haven't done this yet. Or maybe you've done a few approaches here, a few approaches there, but you haven't committed. You haven't taken it seriously. There's a million reasons why, but the easiest way to get over that and to have a breakthrough where you are able to approach a lot of women, you are able to get dates, you are able to have the kind of dating life that you've always fantasized about, the easiest way to make that transition is to take an in-person boot camp, to get coached in person so that you have an insane amount of leverage to take action, to break through that approach anxiety, while at the same time, you're also getting feedback just like in this video. Now, Honest Signals is pretty good, so most of the feedback is positive, but when you're brand new to approaching women, you're gonna make a lot of little mistakes. Maybe you don't hold eye contact. Maybe you speak too fast. Maybe you don't lead things even when the girl does like you. Maybe you run out of things to say. I have easy solutions to all of those. And by observing you and then giving you feedback, giving you exercises to show you how to fix the mistakes you're making, you can rapidly get good at approaching women, creating attraction, and making something happen with that attraction as opposed to just getting flaky numbers. So if that's something you want to learn more about, click the link below to schedule a free call with me. Okay, we need to um, broaden your cosmopolitan horizons. Oh, new driver now, Mohammed. That is Mohammed. Uh, Toyota Oris. Okay, so I wish it showed exactly how he brought her home. Was it the weed? Was it to get drinks? You know, how did he actually get her to come home with him? But you can see he pulled her. She appears to be very attractive. You can't really see her face, but she's got a good body. She appears to be very attractive, very feminine, nice girl. And it was very effortless. He didn't have to do anything fancy. He didn't have to say any crazy lines. He just had to have dominant but calm energy, unreactive, grounded energy. He held strong eye contact. He seemed at ease with himself and he led things forward. And that's all seduction has to be. Sometimes there's situations you have to deal with. Sometimes you have to do something a little bit flashier, a little bit more crazy, but a lot of pickup, a lot of the best pickups are as simple as this. You don't have to get some almanac level of knowledge to be able to pick up a girl and bring her home. It's much simpler and more based on the fundamentals than you think. And the whole pickup community obfuscates this and makes it seem extremely complicated. Like there's a million principles you have to be aware of all at once, but that's not the case. If you just do a few basic things right, you will have success. So on his signals, this was a great approach. 
He definitely has game. You can check out his channel by clicking the link below. Sadly, he never posts. I wish he would, uh, but he never really posts videos anymore, but you can watch his footage. Uh, there's a lot of really good stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button.